Hi guys, so today I'm gonna do a bold lip, a red lip, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on the eyes yet, but I know that I wanna use this particular color from ColourPop, which is actually cracking right now. <laughs> okay, so the color is called Central Perk. I'm gonna start with the skin. And I've tanned, so I don't know if this is gonna suit me anymore. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in shade 240. I've already prepped my skin. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. Usually when you tan, it's not recommended to put that much product so it's looking a little pale but these foundations kind of oxidize actually it doesn't look that bad in real life so let's move on to concealer I'm using the shape tape by Tarte and I'm gonna apply this where I usually do like under the eyes So I love this concealer because it's very high coverage and it covers all my dark circles. You can see that. And I just go over with the rest on my eyelids. So before I set the face with powder, I like to go in with cream contour. So now I go in with the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour stick in bronze. And as you can see, it's well loved. <laughs> All right, so I just go in the places where I want to bronze. As you can see, they blend beautifully. This is one of my favorite cream contours or any cream sticks. So I've blended all my face using the Morphe M436 and then for the nose I'm going to use a different brush. So usually I use a small brush like this and this one's from BH. It comes in a set of like of other brushes and I use this just to blend it in not completely and then I use a different brush to do that so all right so I finished the base but I haven't set my face with powder yet so I'm just gonna go over the fine lines under my eyes and around the lips And then I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty. So the shade that I have is Banana, but it's not my shade. However, since I'm tan, I'm thinking it'll work. So I use the F50 large flat from Sigma to set the eyes and I just take the smallest amount from the same powder and make sure that your eyelids are not creasing and then use that powder to set your eyes. Eyes are set, now I use the Sigma tapered face um, F25. At this point in the makeup, I like to bronze my face and I'm using the MAC Give Me Sun 
and I just go over with a blush brush from MAC all right so now that I bronze I'm gonna try to contour shade and light contour palette and I use the smallest angled brush to be able to get that curve that I want I usually use all three shades <laughs> Now it's time for the blush and I use the same freaking blush every other day which is Flower Power by MAC. My favorite way to do eyebrows is by using this brush. This is my favorite brush and sadly it is discontinued. Um, it's by MAC, it's the 266 brush. As you can see, it's like the thinnest brush ever, and it's perfect for eyebrows, I feel like. It's natural hair, and MAC discontinued it and made a new one with the exact same name, but it's synthetic hair. And, like, I support the idea, but it's not the same brush. <laughs> Take this and a dab of the black. So I'm taking a flat brush with the color. The eye colors, I feel like, require a very nude nude, <laughs> like a brown nude. So I'm going to use the World Lipstick from MAC. <laughs> you guys, today is not my day. What the fuck is happening? I'm going to add a little bit of um, highlighter. This is the Becca champagne pop all right guys so this is post-production it off trying to fix the audio um, I'm using a babyless wand which is I think two or three inches I'm not sure so I section the hair and I take the bottom parts and start with them and then work my way upwards. But rather than laying the hair flat on the iron, I'm twisting the hair as I go to give it more of a wavy look. Okay guys, so I couldn't find the outro footage that I filmed, so I'm gonna end the video here. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for another video next week.